Welcome to St. Elizabeth St. Bridget's Parish on the first Sunday of Advent. The second collection today will be for Christmas flowers. The Knights of Columbus food drive is next week. Today our mass is being said for John Jerzynski and Edward Kolofsky. Please silence all cell phones. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet Christ with righteous deeds at his coming so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage, Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down with the mountains quaking before you. While you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not heard of from of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen, any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All of our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you, for you have hidden your face from us 
and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Israel, hearken, from your throne upon the cherubim shine forth, rouse your power, and come to save us. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted. The Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. The Lord make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way and with all discourse and all knowledge. As a testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus come, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. 
He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on watch. Watch, therefore. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or at midnight or at cock crow or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. This season of Advent is a season of joy. And part of the reason is because we anticipate, we prepare for the anniversary of the first coming of Jesus Christ, the Nativity at Christmas. And so we have much to celebrate because He is the one, He is the Lord, He is our Messiah, and so we are born again in baptism through him, for him. We also anticipate during this season the second coming of Christ, something to look forward to. It may or may not happen in our own lifetimes. Some of the earlier apostles thought that it might happen in their lifetimes, but it didn't. So the chances are high that it may not happen in our lifetimes, even though it seems like there's so much happening in the world today that everything seems like uh, it might be coming to an end. But I say to you, uh, likely not so. We still have to stay here and suffer a a little while longer. But we do have to look forward to our blessed Lord On this first Sunday of Advent, also the sacred scriptures take us on a spiritual journey from ancient Israel to the ministry of Jesus Christ and beyond into the ministry of St. Paul when he preached the gospel to the Gentiles or the non-Jews. I love this first reading which uh, Jim proclaimed first sentence from the first reading the book of Isaiah, we should be captivated by the words of the prophet. Listen carefully. You, Lord, now this is some seven or eight hundred years before Jesus, keep in mind. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer. You are named forever. So already, seven, eight hundred years before our blessed Lord came to earth, we have the Father named, God the Father, through the words of Isaiah. And again at the end of that first reading, you, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all the work of your hands. What a beautiful reflection. This beautiful image wells up within us a deep intimacy that we each ought to have with God. Everything we are comes from God's initiative. The age-old questions we ask. Remember, as a teenager, you ask the questions, and perhaps you still do. Who am I? Where did I come from? Why am I here? Where am I going? All of these questions and more find an answer deep within our souls. God is our Father, and not just any Father, 
the perfect father. I hear sometimes, in Monsignor Paleo here, sometimes people say I can't really identify with God as father because my dad, my father, they say to us, was not such a good father. But that's all the more reason to grow in love with God, our father, because he is the perfect father, not just any father, the one who made us the one who wants us to live with him forever. We belong to him. We are as close to him as the potter to the clay which he shapes. Everything we are is deliberate on God's part. Our heavenly father, when he made you, when he made me, no mistakes, no mistakes. And the prophet Isaiah also speaks of God as our redeemer. This prophecy of God as redeemer is fulfilled, of course, in the cross of Jesus Christ. We are redeemed by the blood of the Son of God through the sacrifice of the cross. And so it's this Jesus who says to us, be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. What time is he speaking of? What time? Is it the time of our death? Is it the time of his second coming into our world? Perhaps it's both. Perhaps it's both. We all think about these words of Jesus, isn't it true? Especially when we hear them proclaimed in the gospel. Be watchful, be alert. I was thinking about these words all week. There's so many things we need to be watchful and alert to these days. Too many to list. Sometimes it seems like, isn't it true, that we can barely trust anyone anymore? Well, for example, we're even saddened by our government officials. And I would say uh, this, uh, especially in terms of the new abortion laws that are likely to be promulgated in New Jersey, saddens me, and that's certainly an understatement. Because, and you'll see it, you could read the whole thing uh, on the website, on the parish website that Monsignor Paleo put together on the website. It includes, among other things, permission to have an abortion up until the time of birth. Awful. Awful. And even by non-medical personnel. That should give us some comfort. Non-medical personnel. And then, There are the various states in our country, including New Jersey, unfortunately, and plus Washington, D.C., that have what are called death with with dignity statutes. Death with dignity statutes. Doesn't that sound nice? Isn't that comforting? Death with dignity. There was a time when it would sound sound comforting, but this is a fancy way of saying assisted suicide. Promulgated in 2019 in New Jersey, euthanasia or assisted suicide in this state where we live is compassionately called aid in dying for the terminally ill act. 
aid in dying for the terminally ill act. Well, that's no better than death with dignity act or assisted suicide. It all means the same thing. But in places, in fact, like the Netherlands, their uh, euthanasia laws are perhaps even more liberal. Well, they are more liberal. They are currently discussing the possibility of allowing euthanasia for people with early signs of dementia. Awful. Just awful. So we must be on guard to many things and not miss the opportunities that are put before us each day by the circumstances of life because there are great things that happen as well. They happen through our initiative, hopefully. The opportunities to love God above all things even when he seems silent. We pray, sometimes God seems silent. But we love God, always and everywhere, anyway. And love our neighbors and our family members, even when they seem to take us for granted, even in their sickness, even in their old age, even in their youth, sometimes dealing with someone of an immature age. And then, of course, to love ourselves even when we feel tired, misunderstood, alone, sick, or lonely, loving God, loving neighbor, loving self. During Advent, Jesus says, be watchful, be alert. Reflect often on these words, especially during these Advent days, how we respond to these demands of our Lord will make all the difference for all eternity. Let us not be taken in by language that's often used to cleverly disguise evil acts. Be watchful, my friends, my fellow Catholics. Be watchful. Be alert. Be blessed. God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Lord of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, 
and life everlasting. Lifting up our hearts so that we may be watchful, we pray. For the church, may the Lord look graciously upon us as we proclaim the gospel message. We pray to the Lord that through the guidance of the Holy Spirit and inspiration of the faithful, that vocations to the priesthood and religious life may flourish. We pray to the Lord. For all who face hunger and malnutrition, may God grant them strength and provide the means for them to obtain their daily bread. We pray to the Lord. For our family members and loved ones, who struggle with mental illness. May God bring them healing and peace. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially our loved ones, may God bring them home to be with him forever, including Joanne Marple, Javier Almiron, Oscar Jimenez, and victims of COVID-19. And at this Mass, we remember John Jerzynski and Edward Kolofsky. We pray to the Lord. And for the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Pray. <clears throat> that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Amen. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of glory, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. So remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints, who have pleased you 
throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs for eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. To save his command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. You graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, 
as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and to hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. us compassion, strength for the day, wisdom to walk in your way. Love touched us and graced us with love. Make us your people of goodness and light. God of our journey, they break tonight. Lead us to justice and light. Grant us compassion, strength for the day, wisdom to walk in your way. Let our hearts burn with the fire of your love. Open our eyes to the glory of God. God of our journeys, daybreak to night, lead us to justice and light. Grant us compassion, strength for the day, wisdom to walk in your way. God
God who makes the blind to see, God who makes the lame to walk, bring us dancing in today, lead your people in your word. God of our journeys, daybreak to night, lead us to justice and light. Grant us compassion, strength for the day, wisdom to walk in your way. Hope for the hopeless, light for the blind, strong is your name, Lord, gentle and kind. God of our journeys, daybreak to night, lead us to justice and light. Grant us compassion, strength for the day, wisdom to walk in your way. Call us to be your light, call us to be your love, make us your people again. God of our journeys, daybreak to night, lead us to justice and light. Grant us compassion, strength for the day, wisdom to walk in your way. Come, spirit, renew our hearts. We shall arise to be children of light. God of our journeys, daybreak to night, lead us to compass and light. Grant us compassion, strength for the day, wisdom to walk in your way.